Hello, thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make this video to share with you my insights on why I feel these three biotech tickers can add significant value to your investment portfolio. But first, before I begin, I'd like to inform you that the information I'll be sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. And anytime when you make an investment, please do your own investment research. Let's get started. Now, the three biotech companies I wanted to share with you are Sorrento Therapeutics, SRNE, Inovio Pharmaceuticals, INO, and Vaxart, VXRT, a company based out in South San Francisco. Now, why should you consider investing in these three biotech companies? Well, the fact that these three companies are small cap companies working on potential solutions for the COVID-19 pandemic, I feel like there is going to be not only a short-term demand for its product line, but also a long-term demand for its product. And if or when these companies begin to mature and demonstrate to the world that its product portfolio is actually working and it's demonstrating safety and efficacy, then as time progresses, companies will likely collaborate and partner up with with these hidden gem biotech companies. And that's going to be great news just knowing that Sorrento Therapeutics, Inovio Pharmaceuticals, and Vaxart can work with uh, big partnerships. Now, let's get started. As you can see here, we're looking at Sorrento Therapeutics. We're looking at a one month trend chart. And back in September, you could have purchased this at a low $6. And now it's gone up close to the $11 range. But I feel like the fact that this company has so much potential, it can bull run back up to its prior resistance value. And let me show you what its prior resistance value is. And that's that's back in August 10th here where it did hover close to $20. And to me, if this company is held long-term, it could potentially go up to the $30 range based on time. So time is of the essence with companies like Sorrento Therapeutics. It's just that recently it had taken a downward trend, but as you can see here, it's beginning to V-shape back up. So this is great news just seeing that the company is beginning to trend upward. And what I like about Sorrento Therapeutics is the CEO, Henry G, who seems like an aggressive CEO who is just implementing things at a very fast pace and it's great news just knowing that today towards the end of the market as you can see here like at 2:26 p.m. you see it shooting up all the way up to like a dollar 20 cents increase within the last duration of the trading of the end of the day and that's great news because i think that this was based on news that was released today regarding its RTX trial that's going on in phase one with uh, cancer patients uh, with reportable uh, intractable pain. So this is great news here um, regarding the 17 patients that are being studied for cancer pain that received its uh, pre-approved product epidural RTX medication. This information is coming from the Department of Anesthesiology from the Brigham and Women's Hospital at Harvard Medical Center. So as you can see, the fact that it's working with, with a hospital like Harvard Medical Center, then this just solidifies the potential for Sorrento Therapeutics to gain on increase on its share price, in my opinion. All right, next up I wanted to share with you is Inovio Pharmaceuticals. And today, the share price did go down by 4%, but the fact that there's going to be the summit held tomorrow where Joseph Kim will be highlighting and showcasing great new information on the company's product line at this time, then I feel like it can potentially bull run up to, to gain on significant proceeds potentially by tomorrow. So as you can see here, the company was hovering at $9 back in uh, early September and now it's gone up by double as you can see uh, looking at the six month trend chart this company was hovering at mid 30s and it's been trending down but i feel like it's it's going to start taking the 
stair ladder upward and v-shape back up to where it uh, previously hovered in the mature range of like thirty dollars and why because i feel like once the company announces the the entry into phase two clinical trials this just highlights that at least i know 40 hunters is safe and it's just a matter of time for it to make headway into phase three and demonstrate safety and efficacy and then await for FDA's response. All right, so I'm very bullish on Inovio Pharmaceuticals and let's hold on tight with tomorrow's information and it can either do very well for our shareholders or it can be unexpected where we don't see much. So let's just continue to see how well Inovio Pharmaceutical does for us tomorrow. Next up I wanted to share with you is Vaxar by the ticker VXRT. So today it, it trended down by like 24 cents per share, which isn't that bad if you think about it because this company has been trending upward. Early September, this company was like hovering at the $4 range and as of today, it doubled in price. So you could have gained on 100% positive proceeds. And Looking at a six month duration here, the fact that this company was hovering at like the $17 range, I feel like it can begin to V-shape back up and meet its prior resistance value. Vaxart is one of the few companies out there that has a different mode of delivery of its medication, which is intended for the COVID-19 vaccine. So rather than taking a bolus delivery of a vaccine, all you do is just take a simple uh, pill medication and it does what it's supposed to do and cures prevents the COVID-19 but we don't know its full safety and efficacy profile until the vaccine goes through the full trials which is end of phase three and potential approval from the FDA. Okay so I hope that this video was valuable in that it gave you insight on these three biotech companies and if you have any questions comments please consider adding it below and please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more related content thank you so much for watching another episode at investing with all i see is w thank you